I'm Deb with Embroidery Library. Tote bags are essential for trips to the grocery store, the farmer's market, and for toting around those crafty supplies. Today I want to demonstrate how to make this traditional tote bag complete with an embroidery design. You'll need one and one half yards of a sturdy fabric like denim or lightweight canvas. Fold the fabric in half and, keeping the fold at the bottom, cut the fabric to 26 and a half inches wide and 26 and a half inches high. In each corner of the folded edge, draw a six and a quarter wide by four and five eighths inch high rectangle. Cut out the rectangles and you'll be cutting through both layers of fabric. I want to embroider the design in the center of the bag. There will be a one inch seam allowance at the top, so I'm marking that with an air erase pen. The empty rectangles are the bottom and sides of the bag. I'm drawing light lines straight up from the inner corners of the rectangle. This area will be the front of the bag, and I need to keep that in mind when I'm planning where to stitch or else the design will be off center. I printed the design from embroidery software to make a template. It's an excellent tool when planning where to stitch. I center the template between the sides, then center it between my one inch seam allowance at the top and the top of those empty rectangles. After I have the template in the right spot, I mark the center point and the vertical and horizontal axis lines. A medium weight cutaway stabilizer is the best choice when embroidering on denim or canvas. Hoop the two together. Attach the hoop to the machine and load the embroidery design. Move the hoop so the needle is right over the center point. Embroider the design. I use a size 11 or 7511 sharp sewing needle when I embroider on denim or lightweight canvas. That small fine point is great for penetrating the fibers of sturdier fabrics. After embroidering, cut the excess stabilizer away from the back. That's looking good. And now it's time to turn it into a tote bag. Fold the fabric right sides together. Pin in place along the sides. Sew a one half inch seam along the pin sides, but don't sew into the cutout areas. Zigzag stitch along the raw edges, or if you have a serger, then serge along the edges of the seams. That prevents the seams from unraveling. For the bottom of the tote, align the side seams with the bottom folds at each of the cutouts, right sides together. Pin in place. Sew a one half inch seam along the pinned edges. Sew a zigzag stitch along the seam allowances or serge like before. Turn the tote right side out. Fold the top edge over one half inch to the wrong side. Press the fold. Turn over another half inch and press. Sew a 3 8 inch seam along the top edge all around the bag. That's coming together really nicely. And now we'll work on the handles. I prefer shoulder straps to handles, so I'm cutting pieces of the canvas to 40 inches long and 5 inches wide. If you like handles instead, then make them shorter, about 20 inches long. Fold the short ends in 1 half inch to the wrong side and press. Fold the long sides in 1 half inch and press. Fold the long sides in half and press. Pin in place. Sew a 1 quarter inch seam along the entire outer edge of the handles. Lay the tote flat with the embroidered side facing up. Take one of the handles and place the ends on top. I'm placing them six inches from either side and extending them two inches onto the tote. Pin in place. Sew a one quarter inch box around the ends of the handle and make an X in the middle. Then repeat those steps to attach the other handle and you can use the first handle as your guide for placement. Sew a one quarter inch box and an X. These are pretty quick to make and that sturdy fabric makes them last for a long time. This bag that I just made is 13 and a quarter inches wide, 18 and a half inches tall, and 11 and one quarter inches deep. It's really nice and roomy. It can hold a lot. And the written instructions at our website have details for making two smaller sizes. This is the medium size and it's 10 inches wide, 14 inches tall and eight and a half inches deep. The smallest size is six and three quarter inches wide, nine and a half inches tall and five and three quarter inches deep. I embroidered the classic gingham dog on one side and calico cat on the other. Thanks for watching today. For machine embroidery designs and more tutorials, visit our website, 
www.emblibrary.com.